Yes. Yep. Well, we're here in New York on a beautiful day with Rick Salmon. Rick, you're one of the most diversified educators in photography out there today. Your experiences have been deep and wide, and I mean that in the literal sense. You've been <laughs> deep in the ocean, right. and you've been around the world uh, quite a bit. So your experiences, your books that you've created, and all the education that you share with so many people mm -hmm. is just a fantastic benefit for us. I would just be curious to know what your favorite part of educating is and what your favorite location in the world to shoot is. Well, I think the favorite part of educating is the feedback you get from the students. You know, you're, you're on location, you're giving a, a seminar, you're giving a workshop, and someone looks at the camera and you know they got it, you know? That's just for me. So exciting, you know, I have a lot of uh, favorite photo expressions. Name of the game, fill the frame, backlight, shoot tight, think flashy, outdoor pictures, see eye to eye. So I'm big on expressions. But my favorite expression is this, we are a part of everyone we meet. And this is so true, you know, that's how we develop our personalities when we're young. You know, we pick up things that we like from other people and that becomes us. So as a teacher, and I'm sure you know this too, you know, you impart your knowledge onto someone and you become a part of that person. So you may teach them in Atlanta where you live, but they may be in Siberia shooting. And they'll say, oh man, Eddie Taft showed me that. How cool is that? <laughs> so I think, I think, um, as far as my favorite part of teaching, well, that's one thing. The other thing is learning. You know, we're at the Buddhist temple, the largest Buddhist temple in the United States, not too far from my house. And I bring students up here, and I say, oh, this is a shot, this is a shot, this is a shot, all my favorite shots. And then someone who's never been here says, oh, how about this shot? I say, man, how come I didn't see that? So you learn a lot from the students, too. And as far as my uh, favorite location is, uh, I don't really, uh, I always say the favorite location is going to be the next one. That's outstanding. And Rick, also you are an innovator in the digital arena. You're a Canon explorer of light. Like but, yourself. Well, right? that, <laughs> yes, and which is a high honor. Mm -hmm. But more importantly, you're leading the way in a new digital way that nobody's seen before. And what you're doing, you've written how many books? 60? 80? Uh, I think uh, 36. 36 different books. And they're coffee table books. They're not just uh, do this book and run away. They're wonderful books. Thank you. And now you're going to the next level. And what you've been doing in the past months, you've been creating applications for the iPad and iPhone. And just to look at these, they're absolutely stunning. They're beautiful. They're jam-packed with an amazing amount of information. Tell me a little bit about what started this and, and why you've gone to this plateau. And the benefits of this is just on the other chain. It's just amazing. Well, it is a lot of fun. And uh, I got into it. I was in, in Maui at the Maui Photo Festival. And I'm in a helicopter, and a guy said, man, you wrote 36 books. I said, well, I, I've done a lot of books, but I really want to do apps. Apps, I feel, are the future, iPad apps and iPhone apps. So the guy says to me, he says, I'm an app developer. <laughs> You know, in the helicopter, I meet this guy, Dr. Dave Wilson. So I said, let's do an app. And I, sa I fed him all my material, you know, the pictures, the text, the movies. And he put them together in this app, Rick Salmon's 24-7 Photo Buffet. And, I mean, it's doing great. And it's fun. And that's what's great about uh, apps, I think. It's more, they're more interactive than a book. Uh, they're more fun. And they're more accessible. You know, on your iPhone, you can have, you know, hundreds of books. And if you even carried around my 36 books, you'd have a backache in a, in a backpack. So I think, uh, and also, you know, I do uh, feel that, uh, that I have to stay, you know, in competition with all these young people out there. You know, I'm 60. They were doing all these great things. So I've teamed up with some young people, too, to help me with the apps. And I think, you know, you team with young people keeps you young. Well, you did mention one thing that comes to my mind. You said this is fun. And, you know, learning is fun. And I have to tell you, you make learning fun. Because when I see some of your excerpts or your videos or your apps, it's fun. You're showing s fun, but at the same time, you're giving really excellent information, and it's information that sticks. So when I go to shoot again, I, I think about Rick Salmon, and I think about this little mm. idiosyncrasy mm. that you've planted. So thank yeah. you for the wonderful work you do. Well, thank you. I, I like to make it fun. You know, if you're not having fun, you shouldn't be doing it. That's true. <laughs> okay. All right.